Well guys, unfortunately I have to downgrade to a different version of VirtualBox because of some uh, compatibility issues. Well, this release of uh, VirtualBox is just not up to snuff. And running in a production environment, sometimes you do run into these types of issues that you have to downgrade. So, for VirtualBox we're going to do it right now. So. What do you do in the first place? And that is, when you still have a running system, you get rid of the VirtualBox drivers on the guest systems. And I'm going to use this uh, Zentio um, installed guest on which I installed uh, the VirtualBox guest editions as an example of removing them. And it's running and I can't go full screen so you'll you'll have to uh, bear with me but uh, here we go I mean I'm opening the console and then I'm going to sudo I to the root account and well this one is very interesting because it doesn't have uh, an auto mount for CD-ROMs I have to mount it by the command line go to media cd rom and that's good ls to see what's there and then uh, run vbox linux uninstall and of course this is all properly set up with dkms and such things but ha because we're reverting to a previous version of virtualbox well I'll have to uninstall it on the guest OS. And the reason for uninstalling it is basically because later versions of these drivers might be incompatible with the previous version of the virtual box on the host. Simple as that. It's uninstalled. Just did an upget clean just to uh, be sure. Uh, that everything is uh, cleaned. Doing exit, exit, and stopping, well, this guest with shutdown. And we're in the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager, and now I'm going to export uh, this instance of uh, the guest because I want to reuse it in the well downgraded version of VirtualBox. So, export appliance, very well. Uh, yes, that's very nice. I'm just going to drop it in my documents folder. That's fine for this example. Format everything, export. This is going to take a little while, so bear with me. So it's exported and now it's time to remove this. Huh? Guest. Remove. Delete all files. Very nice. So let's get this window out of here and open up a console window. And, uh, well, log in to the root account with sudo i and do a dpkg list grab virtual box and as you see virtual box 4.3 is installed so let's get that removed opt get remove purge virtual box 4.3 and yes, will be removed. Very nice. And let's do an up get clean. Just to be sure. And now let's take a look at the VirtualBox website and see what previous version can be installed 
easily enough. And, uh, well, it's 4.2. So let's uh, go do that. Have via apt get install virtual box 4.2. And it, uh, well, starts very neatly. And it's installed. Normally I would recommend to restart the system entirely at this point in time, but uh, let's continue with installing the additional requirements, for some of us at least, and uh, that would be the VirtualBox extension pack. And we'll have to uh, use the compatible version with this version of VirtualBox, so the 4.2 version. And we'll have to get it from, of course, the VirtualBox website. Uh, let's see, yes, no, I'm going to save it. And of course, this is all subject to licensing, so please be careful when using VirtualBox in a uh, commercial setting or otherwise specified by VirtualBox, well, Oracle's virtual box licensing scheme. So we downloaded it and let's go to my normal account on this machine. The download folder of course. And then do vbox manage install ext pack and select Oracle extension pack 4.2 and etc. And use replace just for a uh, good measure. Okay, this doesn't work. So With the correction, it installs. And sometimes you make a little bit of a mistake with, you know, uh, swapping command line options around. But it's installed. And let's, uh, well, opt get clean for good measure. Exit, exit, and then uh, start, well, Indeed, there's a newer version available from the 4.3 branch, which we just deinstalled because it's, well, buggy. So, okay, and let's make sure, first of all, uh, that we've got, well, indeed, the 4.2 version installed, which is the case. Now, of course, there is a caveat with reverting to a previous version of the piece of software you've been using and that is that errors that were corrected after the release of huh, the downgraded version haven't been applied to this downgraded version so let's recap you're using an older piece of software that has most likely some bugs in it that were resolved in the later version which you're not using at the moment. So this caveat is, of course, big if you're, well, depending on those bug fixes. And I'm hoping I won't run into them. Not sure though, I'll find that out in the future. Now, you can re-import virtual appliances that you have saved. You do have to uh, downgrade or reinstall uh, the guest editions for those appliances, like stated before. 
and then do check out if the function that you uh, use those appliances for is completely functional because reverting to a previous version is in most instances well a measure to resolve issues with the latest bug fixes like I'm doing right now but I hope you found this video informative uh, like the video subscribe to the channel and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.